Yo, what's going on guys? Matt here and welcome to week number two of my Oakland Raiders Connected Franchise Mode here on Madden 16. Last week the Raiders were in a close game against the Cincinnati Bengals, but they prevailed in overtime. They defeated them and for the first time in a long time they have a winning record and have started off the season 1-0. and So this is really a good improvement for the Raiders as they're taking on the Baltimore Ravens this week in week number two. In real life, they're 1-1. One one. In this game, they're 1-0. Oh. So we'll see how they can do here against Joe Flacco and the Ravens. Typically, the Raiders are a better home team. So with back-to-back -back home games, we'd like to try to win this game. But realistically, it's going to be hard for the Raiders to go 2-0. and oh. I just want them to have a solid game. See, here we go. First quarter action, Joe Flacco throwing it off to Justin Forsett. Nothing happening. Second and 13 now. Flacco's going to scramble. We miss the tackle, and he's going to just barely be short of a first down a nice hit there so it's third inches it's a play action pass here and he's getting sacked there is a flag on the play and that is going to be against the Raiders so unfortunately that will get called back it's third and inches it was a hold and it will now be third and ten so Joe Flacco has the ball steps back for third and ten and he's gonna throw it off to his receiver who is not going to get the first down so a nice job there by the Raiders even though they did take a penalty, they did stop him at the 33-yard line, and they will get the ball back. So here is Derek Carr, year number two for him. Last game, pretty good game, 313 yards with three touchdowns and an interception. So really, if he just doesn't get an interception today, that would be awesome. So here he is handing it off to Latavius Murray on the first and 10, and right off the bat, Latavius Murray is going to get nine yards. Second and one now, we're giving it to Murray, but he's not going to get anything. Third and three, we have to pass it now. Carr waits and he gets Michael Crabtree his first reception only his third of the season he only had a couple last game but it is a first down for the Raiders at the 33 yard line so a nice job by Derek Carr and Michael Crabtree now first and 10 handing it off to Latavius Murray he's not going anywhere second and 11 out Carr out of the snap backs up finds a wide open Michael Rivera I wouldn't say wide open but definitely open enough to catch the pass as Derek Carr with a perfect pass there finds Rivera and we're at the 47 yard line first and 10 now handing it off to Murray and he is tackled second and nine now Carr waiting passes it over finds Michael Rivera again and he's tackled all the way down to the 34 yard line so a nice connection here early on by Derek Carr and Michael Rivera so here he is first and 10 handing it off to Latavius Murray who is fighting for extra yards and is going to get nine on the play second and one now again we hand it off to Murray and he can't get it third and two now and we're chucking this deep into the end zone and that's way over the head of the receiver so we're going to have to settle for a field goal but Janikowski boots it to the right and for the second consecutive week, Janikowski misses a kick. That is a huge break for the Baltimore Ravens as the Raiders cannot get points on what should have been an easy field goal. So they are still tied with the Raiders at 0-0. So at the end of the first quarter, here's Justin Forsett. He will get the first down for the Ravens on a second and eight play. And we really need to contain him. Now, Forsett has it again. He has it all the way to the right side. He's hurtling, and he is across midfield all the way to the 43-yard line. So a nice job there by Justin Forsett, giving his team better field position. So first and 10 now for Joe Flacco. He hands it off to Talia Faro. He's getting tackled for a loss of three yards. It's second and 13 now. Flacco dumps it off to Brown, who is still going to be four yards short of the first down. So it's third and four. Flacco looking for Smith Sr., and he finds him, but Smith Sr. can't hang on to it. And as a result, it's going to be a fourth down for the Ravens. And the Raiders come up with another big stop. And now the Raiders will get the ball back. So first and 10 now from the 18. Latavius Murray trying to spin away from a tackle. Gets five. Second and five now. Derek Carr throws it deep. Looking for Amari Cooper, but he can't connect. And that is going to bring up a third and five. Derek Carr waiting. Throws it over now. And... His receiver, possibly Cooper, I think that was, stumbles, and the Raiders are doing a three and out here on this drive, and the Ravens get the ball back in the second quarter. Joe Flacco throwing it off, and that is going to be eight yards. Second and two now, Flacco waiting, waiting, almost gets sacked, rolls to the right, then throws it away. So now it's going to be third and two from the 28. Joe Flacco hands it off to Forsett, and he will get the first down. So a nice job there by Justin Forsett. Getting those extra yards needed for a first down. Now they're at the 31. Flacco out of the snap. Throws it over to Forsett again. And he's going to get eight yards. Second and two now. Forsett gets it again. And again, he has the first down all the way to the 46-yard line. Next play now, first and 10. Joe Flacco hands it off to Talia Farrow, giving Forsett a break. And he'll get five yards. Second and five now. Flacco 
waiting for a receiver to get open, but he throws it right to Nate Allen for the interception. Nate Allen with a killer play there as he just intercepts the ball and gives the Oakland Raiders the ball back. Joe Flacco has to be smarter than that. So the Raiders have the ball now on the 35-yard line. Latavius Murray fumbles the ball in the very next play. Mosley recovers the fumble. Unbelievable here as the Raiders get the ball from an interception by Nate Allen. Then, to, then Latavius Murray fumbles the ball and gives the Ravens the ball right back. They'll get seven yards now, second and three. Forsett gets the first down, looking for more, and he'll find himself at the 17-yard line with a nice gain there. 45 yards on the day for Justin Forsett. First and 10 now for Joe Flacco, waiting, throws it over into a pile of Raiders, but it wasn't intercepted. Second and 10 now, Forsett has the ball, and he is going to get a first down, just muscling for those extra yards down to the five-yard line. So first and goal here for Joe Flacco. He dumps it off to Talia Farrow, who is not going anywhere. He loses five yards. Second and goal now at the 10. Gilmore has the reception, but he's still short of the end zone. So third and goal for Flacco. He is waiting. He throws it over, and finally the Ravens connect and they will get the touchdown. So it's 7-0 here in Oakland as the Raiders are down by a touchdown as Baltimore scores here finally on third and goal, third time's a charm. And Derek Carr will try to tie it up. First and 10 here from the 20. He throws it over to Latavius Murray trying to recover from that earlier fumble and he'll get down with a pretty nice reception all the way to the 35 yard line now first and 10 he hands it off to Murray and he will get a couple of yards there second and five now Derek Carr play action waiting for a receiver to get open he throws it over and that is almost intercepted we're at the two minute warning now in the second quarter Derek Carr rolling to his right trying to avoid getting sacked and he was trying to throw it away he didn't and as a result He's going to get injured. That is right. He should have just thrown it away, but as a result, he gets tackled and injured. This is bad news for the Raiders. Unfortunately for the Ravens, Derek Carr will come back, and he is not permanently injured. So he'll be back in the next drive, but now the Raiders need to stop. It's 2nd and 11, and Justin Forsett just continues to dominate today as he gets even more rushing yards and another first down. So first and 10 for Flacco at the 46-yard line, finds a wide open Brown, and he is all the way down to the 17-yard line inside the Oakland Raiders red zone. So first and 10 now for Flacco and the Ravens offense, and that is almost intercepted by Armstrong. Flacco second and 10 now, waiting for a receiver to get open, and he finds a wide open Gilmore. So a crazy play there as that is the second receiving touchdown today for Gilmore. It is now a 14-0 ball game, and the Oakland Raiders are finding themselves into a deep hole. We have approached halftime. They are not looking so good, the Oakland Raiders are, and really, if we want to do something here in the second half, we are going to need some offense and some defense. We are back in the second half. Derek Carr trying to get some points on the board. Latavius Murray gets four. Second and six now. Derek Carr back foot throws it over and it's not completed. Third and six now for Derek Carr. Waiting. He's going deep. And that is Amari Cooper not getting it. And that's an interception for Hill and the Ravens. Will Hill gets the interception. And the Ravens take over. So the defense for the Ra Raiders has to come up big as well. And Mario Edwards Jr. The second round pick for the Raiders last year gets the sack on Joe Flacco. It's second and nine, and Flacco will throw that deep, and no one is going to get that. There is an injury on the play, and look at this. Joe Flacco is getting injured. There was a late hit on the play, and he is holding his wrist, I believe, and that is bad news for the Ravens, as they will now have to bring in Matt Schaub, the former Oakland Raider quarterback, and he will throw it, and on the first play, Charles Woodson, the veteran, intercepts it. What a crazy series of events. Flacco gets injured. They bring in the former Oakland Raider quarterback last year, uh, Matt Schaub, who got some playing time, but Derek Carr took his job. And on the first play, he gets intercepted by Charles Woodson. What a play by Woodson. But now Derek Carr is going to get sacked. Second and 19 now for Carr, and he is just not looking good. Well, really, his offensive line is not giving him much time. So it's third and 19 at the 15-yard line. Carr is going deep, and he is not going to find Amari Cooper. He almost did there. But uh, really, today, he's 4 for 12, not many receptions, and that will bring up a fourth down for the Oakland Raiders. So 14 nothing here in the third quarter as the Ravens take over, and here comes Matt Schaub leading their offense, throwing it over. Williams has the reception, and he's fighting for extra yards all the way, just shy of the 40-yard line. So first and 10 here for Matt Schaub, handing it off to Justin Forsett, and he is going to get a couple yards. Second and eight now, Schaub also again to Forsett. 
Uh, not sure what they're trying to do here, but a lot of plays to force set. Third and four now, and that will be knocked down by the Oakland Raiders' McGill. So fourth and four here for the Ravens. The Raiders come up with a big stop, and they will get the ball right back. So here comes Derek Carr out of the snap, throws it over, and that is incomplete. So five minutes left in the third quarter. Latavius Murray gets the ball. He will get three yards. Third and seven now for Derek Carr. He has to do something here, and he's going to connect with Michael Crabtree. So a really nice play there by Derek Carr giving the Raiders just to about the 40-yard line, and they just need something going here. It seems like they haven't gotten much. They had the chance for the field goal, but they didn't get it, and they're down by two scores. So they're trying to come back here. Latavius Murray finds his way to the outside. He breaks a tackle, almost breaks another one, but he has himself a first down, and that is across midfield to the 49-yard line. So a nice job there by Latavius Murray. Derek Carr now first and 10, waits, throws it deep, Michael Crabtree makes the outstanding catch, and the Raiders have a first down to the 11-yard line. What a nice catch by Michael Crabtree, the former San Francisco 49er. And look at Roy Hallou Jr. breaking the defender's ankles and going in for the touchdown. What a play there by Hallou Jr. as he goes in. Everyone thinks he's going to pick the corner, but he jukes to the right. And the Raiders have their first touchdown of the game. So it's a one-touchdown game, 14-7 here in Oakland. And Matt Schaub is still on the field for the Ravens as Joe Flacco will not return for the remainder of this game. Third and one, they're handing it off to Forsett. And what do you know, he gets another first down to the 37-yard line. First and 10 now for Matt Schaub. He hands it off to Forsett, but finally we get a stop. They lose three yards. Second and 13, and we're going to get another stop. Third and 14 now. Big play here for the Raiders defense. They're throwing it off. And Forsett has it. And he is all the way down the field. And finally, someone will catch him at the 20-yard line. But Justin Forsett just continues to dominate the Raiders and making them look silly here in week number two. So Matt Schaub will hand it off to Talia Farrow, who breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. And he finds himself in the end zone with a touchdown. The third touchdown of the day for the Ravens. And Talia Farrow is just making the Raiders defense look silly, just like his other fellow running back, Justin Forsett. So first and 10 now for Derek Carr. He needs to get points on the board as the Raiders are once again down by two scores. Going deep again, that's almost intercepted. Third and 10 now for Derek Carr. Out of the, out of the snap, waits, throws, finds Helu Jr. And he is gone. 30, 20, 10, five, touchdown. Roy Hallou Jr., the unlikely hero for the Raiders, has his second touchdown of the day, and it once again makes it a one-score game here in Oakland. 21-14, to and Justin Forsett's going to get the ball here, finally stopped at the 34-yard line. The Raiders' offense is finally working. Third inches, a big stop here, could be in the works, and Matt Schaub is taking down a huge play for the Raiders' defense as Khalil Mack gets the tackle and now it is fourth and ten and the Raiders are gonna get the ball back so Latavius Murray getting the ball and we just need one more touchdown to tie it up with six and a half minutes left in the game and now it's third and inches giving it over to Latavius Murray he's gonna get the first down a nice juke move and he'll find himself getting tackled at the 43 yard line first and ten for Derek Carr off his back foot finds Michael Crabtree who's fighting for the extra yards He'll get eight. Second and two now for Hallou Jr. He gets stopped after gaining one. Latavius Murray punches it in on the third and one play. And they have themselves another first down with just over four minutes left in the fourth quarter. First and ten now for Derek Carr. Under four minutes now. Michael Crabtree with another catch down to the 35. Finally, Michael Crabtree getting some plays. And Latavius Murray gets a first down down to the 27-yard line with 20 rushes and 83 yards today. Murray is starting to get into a groove. First and 10 now, Derek Carr looking for a receiver, throws it over, and Michael Rivera has the catch and the first down. So a nice yard yardage gain there from Michael Rivera as Derek Carr, much like in real life, week two had a drive trying to tie this game up, but he's going to get sacked here on first and 10. It's now second and 15 from the 22. Derek Carr just barely throws it away, and this O-line is not giving him much of a chance. So third and 15 here for Derek Carr. He's going deep for the end zone. But that was out of bounds, and Rod Streeter cannot catch it. So, 4th and 15 for the Oakland Raiders. Are they going to go for it? You would assume they would, and they are. Derek Carr, 4th and 15. This could be the game. He throws it deep, but it is also way too high and out of bounds. And Rod Streeter can't get this one. And that will seal the game. The Baltimore Ravens are going to win this one by the final score of 21-14. to 
Roy Hallou Jr. with the pair of touchdowns in the Raiders' loss. And Justin Forsett really dominated this game and just made the defense for the Raiders look silly. And honestly, Derek Carr in real life, he led the Raiders to a victory in this game. In this one, he needed to tie the game up at 21. And just a couple of missed throws out of bounds and over the receiver's head really led to this Raiders offense not getting anything done in the later part of the game. And as a result, the Raiders are going to fall to 1-1. One one. So as much as we enjoy that 1-0 start, now it's back to the drawing board as their offense was a little inconsistent and their defense was awful in this game. So again, the Raiders lose by a final score of 21-14 to 14, and honestly, I think they can do much better. And next week, we are going to Cleveland and we are going to be facing off against Johnny Manziel and the Cleveland Browns. The postgame stats, the Raiders did have more passing yards and more average yards per play, but in the end, it matters with the scoreboard. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.